All right, so I'm about ready to put in the uh, the payload uh, bay and the payload bay doors, but uh, we have a plan of lighting up this cockpit area. So I've cut a channel right here to run some wiring through, and we're going to put uh, a couple of LEDs up here. And uh, but so before I put in the payload bay, I have to kind of run this wiring here, and so uh, that's what we're going to do right now. I'm just going to stuff it down into a little bit of a little hole that I've got right here, which um, I've drilled, and it goes down into the starboard main landing gear well, and um, then we'll wire it up later. here. I got a lot of extra here because uh, all I really want to do is be able to to uh, attach it to the base where the electrical power source is coming from but you know you never know about these things so it's always good to have extra wire so a lot of extra wire here. So pretty simple. I've just left a positive and negative up here. Just run the wiring right in through to the gear door of the gear bay. All right, so I went to put in the payload bay, and I was just, I should have looked this before, but uh, there's a hole in the bottom of the payload bay to support um, you know, the payload portion of the kit. And so rather than run the wiring completely underneath, I just used one of the holes to, to uh, thread it through. So even better. Now we'll just glue this up. Should be no problem. Should be easy enough. Gonna use ten X here. here all right so that's done <clears throat> and I'm gonna run a good strong bead of this testers liquid around the uh, edge here lesson learned. I put in this payload bay and I snugged it in nice and glued it nice. But as it turns out these um, payload bay doors are really 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 thick so if you snug this payload bay in and set it on this uh, sill here then when you go to put the doors on you get this kind of situation right here. Not good. So I had to break this loose. Okay thank goodness I had just done this and now I'll be able to glue it all up together and it should marry up like that, which is what we're looking for. So now I have to do this on the other side here too. Again, thank goodness we just glued this. If I'd waited a day, it never would have come off. Lesson learned. These kids try to be everything to all people. So, if you want to open up this bay door, these bay doors, it wouldn't necessarily be such a big deal. But if you're trying to close them like we're trying to do, 
it's a huge deal. I mean, huge. Good news is that looks like it's gonna fit okay this way. <clears throat> okay, excellent. All right, so I'm just gonna run a bead <clears throat> testers along here, and hopefully all three of these pieces will come together nicely. Hopefully. You may ask why did I put the payload bay in at all since it's not going to be visible and doesn't seem to be required. Uh, I put it in there just to give the uh, model a little more strength. Maybe it wasn't necessary, but I also gave these bay doors something to bite on. Now, because I only have half of this put together here with these bay doors, I have the luxury of running some cement on the inside here. I just got the doors on and um, I'm going to run some putty along the actual door edge and I'll go back and rescribe that later but uh, the gap is just too big and it needs to be cleaned up. This is Tamiya basic type putty. This is something that's been around for a while that I just didn't know a whole lot about and did some reading online. Seemed like it might be worth trying so I ordered some stuff and uh, I kind of like it. It's a little bit harder than Squadron. I don't like that, but on the other hand, it feathers very well. It's not as hard as uh, some of the um, 3M putties that some people like, like the blue or the green. It's kind of in the middle. my dog and here's a garage door opener and that means that the swim bow is probably home. No it's not actually it's my youngest son. I will let that dry nicely and we'll come back and 
sand it down. Alright, so I have a product here called um, Mr. Surfacer, which some of you may be familiar with. This is 1000. It actually comes in three different thicknesses. It's kind of a liquefied putty. And uh, I haven't used it too much before. It's kind of new for me. But the idea is that you put it in crack thin areas like this and um, and then you can come back with some some uh, lacquer thinner on a q-tip and clean up some of the excess you don't have to worry about you know filling and sanding so we're gonna do this a little bit see how it works don't know how good it's gonna work this is actually 1000 maybe I should use 500 Good modeler is resourceful, uses every trick in the book to get the best results. Now this stuff, if you let it dry thoroughly, you can't get it off unless you sand it off. Um, but if you let it sit for a few minutes, let it set a little bit, and then go back with some thinner on a Q-tip or some acetone, you can get a lot of it off and still leave the stuff that you really want to stay down down And some of this I'm going to have to come back and just putty. And the gaps are a little bit too big. Like this here, I think I'm going to have to. So quite as much on that side, but certainly on this side. <clears throat> All right. 